Tonight, James Neighbors tells us about overpasses.org. It's a movement for an impeachment of Obama. Thank you so much for being here. I'm glad to be here. Glad to be here. So tell us about overpasses.org. How did it start? Uh, well, it started when uh, there was, an, there was a uh, uh, protest out in, out in California back on June 8th. And, you know, I just kept getting drawn back to the article. It was just on one source. And, and I just kept getting drawn back to it and drawn back to it. And finally, it just struck me that the whole secret to what was going on there was that what they could do could be duplicated. And, you know, it was just time for America to stop being complacent. And, you know, I was tired of waiting for somebody magical to show up that would fix everything and realize that, you know, I imagine that our founding fathers had the same feeling too. They were just waiting for somebody to step up and realize that if anybody was going to do it, that it had to be them and it had to be people that, that thought and believed like them. And so, you know, with that in mind, uh, I just decided to be that guy and start something and hope I wasn't the, wasn't the, you know some lone crazy guy out there uh, with a Facebook page and you know things got started there on Facebook and they've you know they've just since exploded since then. I mean we've had dozens of protests all across the country. Uh, you know in uh, you know on August sixth we had I mean there were there were just they were everywhere. It's just amazing that the mainstream media didn't cover it. And, um, you know, because we've been all over the radio, we've, we've been all over, you know, uh, online media and whatnot like that. I mean, you can just find dozens and dozens of stories on us. And it just, you know, really makes you wonder, even though, you know, because it's news, why it isn't out there. But, but that's not the point. You know, the fact is, is that millions of people have seen us. And they know now that they're not hearing everything out there that's news, and and that's the important thing is you have people start questioning things and looking into into the message we're bringing. Um, you know, it's really I, I, it's hard to believe that we've got over forty thousand people in the movement in just two months, and it's growing so fast it's 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 getting difficult to keep up with, but we're managing. <laughs> For our viewers who are, who might just be joining us or haven't seen the overpasses.org thing till now how how can they be a part of it and what is it in say two sentence, sentences um, well how they can be a part of it would be to go to overpasses.org sign up on the website you can get links to our various groups and find find uh find protests you know the the key to it is just it's all it's all local just you don't have to go to Washington D.C. You can you can be a, you be an activist right in your hometown. So really, it's a grassroots movement to let the White House know how we feel. Well, not even so much the White House. I think they're quite aware of how the American people <laughs> actually feel about them. It's it's for Congress to realize that they need to act in the best interest of their constituents. Um, they seem to have a problem with doing that. They look to the corporations and and you know the money there and 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 that seems to be you know who they follow. And they need to remember that there's 310 million people out here and the last ratings I saw of what they what the opinion of Congress's job was very very low and well now we're showing that out on the streets. Do you think that term limits perhaps would help not only in the presidential but in the Congress and in the well, Senate? I think ab I think absolutely they would simply because the long it, well you can look at look at any of the entrenched politicians the you know the the Nancy Pelosi's <laughs> the Diane Feinstein's the Harry Reeds the John McCain's uh, you know and and they're all just hopelessly corrupt and <laughs> that has to be because of an entrenchment they have and favors they owe to people who have given them money. And the longer you owe those people favors, well, the more corrupt and, and less you're going to listen to your constituents you become. Now, in your events, when you go out, what do you hear from the public? What are you hearing at the overpass? What's Oh, it's incredible. Oh. If they were to take a poll of the amount of, of honks and thumbs up, but thumbs up and people favoring us, versus those that don't he would uh he, you know it would it would be an 80 to 90 percent approval rating 
Wow. You know, I went out and visited one of the overpasses that were doing the signs, and I mean, through the interview, people were honking. It was continuous, and it's not necessarily the most conservative area. Actually, Austin, for the most part, isn't conservative, but it, it was interesting to see, like, a shift. Well, I think that you, even the even the ones that voted for Obama, and and well, I know this for a fact, simply because we've got such a large number of people that voted for him that have joined the movement that realize that he's just quite simply a mistake. Uh, people believed in him. I, I voted for against him both times. You know, the first time when he was elected, I was like, well, you know what? I mean, I voted against him because I don't believe in him, but I'm an American before I was anything else, and. I hope that he's the greatest president in the history of the nation, and, and unfortunately, my worst suspicions, uh, you know, that he would not be, have been have been proven to be true, and even his own voters are coming to realize that. Mm. Well, even if you didn't vote for him the first time, I think once they, he got in office, we were all pulling for him to to do the right thing, and it's just really tough when you have two terms of a lot of lying. Well, and that's the thing. I mean, they tried to, you know, they, they, they were going to impeach Nixon over one lie, one lie, and his option was resign or be impeached, and he chose to resign. Um, you know, President Clinton, they tried to get over a real estate scandal and then a, a sex scandal, and, you know, he escaped that. And But, but you, you can't even add those two together in comparison to, uh, to what you know, Barack Obama has done, I mean, the fact is he's just utterly criminal behavior. And, and what kind of precedent does that set for the future? Well, and it's also very hard when your leader is doing crazy things and not living up to promises. So the Congress and, and the Senate as a whole are going to act up because the leader's acting up. So, well, sure. I mean, it's, it's it's just like a parent and their children. If the parent is a, you know, is, is showing bad behavior, what are the children going to do? They're going to learn that bad behavior and realize that it's acceptable. So, tell us about the next event. Um, on August 17th, the Patriot Wave 2.0 will go across America from the Eastern Time Zone all the way across the country to the Pacific Time Zone at, from. 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. We'll have protests out there. I mean, hundreds. They'll be out there in every major metro area, small towns. I mean, you, you know, you can just about drive around anywhere and find one. And, uh, you know, if you want to get in, just go to overpasses.org and join your state group. And I can guarantee you, you'll find something at least within driving distance of where you're at. If people want to upload pictures or YouTube videos or connect, can they do that at overpasses.org? Um, we're actually building a video wall on there right now. Um, right now, currently, we've got everything on, on Facebook, on our events group, and we're actually in the process of, of putting together that on the website. Do you have any specific words of encouragement for the people out there who want to be we the people again and have some input in our Constitution and our well-being as the United States of America? Well, I absolutely would. Because, you know, the fact is, the fact is, is we have got to remember that this country is owned by the citizens. It is not owned by Congress. They have gotten full of themselves and have convinced people that as an individual, we can do nothing. And that is not true. As an individual, we can stand up. And as individuals stand up together, we become a group. Eventually, that group will become an army. Uh, you know, we're a nonviolent army, but nevertheless, you know, currently we've got tens of thousands of people that have already decided to stand up. Anybody can do it. All you have to do is look yourself in the mirror and just say, if it is to be, it's up to me. And come join us with thousands of other people that have done the same thing. And that's the uniqueness of our country, too, is that we have a First Amendment and we can speak our piece. And, and that's what it's all about. It's all of us being able to get out there and be peaceful and share with each other in fellowship. Well, that's exactly it. America is unlike anything in any other place in the world. And the fact is, if we don't stand up now and stop the corruption that has gotten itself so embedded in our federal government, and it's in our state governments as well, but it's just so readily apparent 
in the in the in the federal government if we don't stop it now what example will the rest of the world have to look upon uh you know for for, for how to do things right because they don't have one right now you can look at washington dc and and the example of how is how to not do things and it's time to bring that to an end and to be the example for the world again so they can they can understand what freedom is about and every one of us can do that everyone here in america can do that and what if uh, our viewers can't make it to overpasses this weekend what else can they do to help well we'll have everything this is an ongoing thing this is not something that's a one-shot deal we're not you know what we're not having a one a very expensive extremely expensive event in washington dc um this is an ongoing thing and it will continue even even after president obama is removed from office we're going to continue because congress is next and we're gonna we're gonna be around to ensure honesty and real transparency in our government uh, we were promised that we weren't given that and where we intend to make certain that happens there'll be ongoing protests on a local level in every state until the well we have no end date well that's good Thank you, James, so much for being here today. I want to hear more about overpasses after the 17th as well. That sounds great. I look forward to it. All right. Thank you so much. You bet. Thank you. So go out and help overpasses.org. If you can make the event on Saturday, go out and support. And if you can't, you can always call your representative. Let them know how you feel about what's going on in the White House, Congress, Senate, all of it. And support the cause. Go to InfoWarsStore.com and check out this video. It's American Drug War II, and it talks about not only cannabis destiny, but also about how it affects the children and the children in need who aren't getting the medicine that they need. The filmmaker, Kevin Booth, will be on the nightly news this week, so don't miss that. You can find out more about this video at the InfoWarsStore.com. I'm Gigi Arnetta. Remember to watch the nightly news weekdays at 7 p.m. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at InfoWars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at InfoWars.com slash show. I'm Darren McBreen, and these are some of the new items that are available now at InfoWarsShop.com. Alert the public to Obama's blatant abuse of power with the new Obama t-shirt. Obama's joker face on the front and come and take it on the back. It's time to publicly call him out for what he is, a tyrant. Defend the Second Amendment with our top seller come and take it t-shirts. And look at that, women's cut tank tops and t-shirts now available. Nice hat. Plus, the Don't Tread on Me flag. And now you can become a micro distributor of the InfoWars magazine. Plus, get your own copy delivered right to your door each and every month. And if you're tired like I am of you and your family being exposed to polluted drinking water, get the Pro One High Performance Water Filter. It gets rid of all pathogenic bacteria, cyst, fluoride, heavy metals, and numerous other contaminants. So join the revolution at InfoWarsShop.com.